Hey everybody, Pastor Steve here. So good to be back online with you. I apologize for being off for a minute. Uh, I don't know if you knew, I caught COVID and had a, a challenging, you know, good solid weekend there. I actually caught COVID uh, towards the end of election weeks. And so uh, a lot of things that were burning on my heart to share, uh, I just really wasn't able to, but so happy to be back online now and really look forward to uh, sharing some thoughts that I hopefully will bring some solid comfort to you and you know, to whoever would care to listen uh, in the midst of the times that, w that we live in today. You know, um, I know there's a lot of uncertainty in, in our world today, right? And uh, you know, perhaps listening to this message, there's folks that uh, are really worried about you know, what's going on in our country in terms of the election. And uh, you know, perhaps folks that are uh, really uh, happy that it appears uh, you know, that Joe Biden at least is being put forward as, as the winner. And maybe some who are, are very troubled about that and maybe some who are very excited about that. I don't know, that's not really my uh, purpose of conversation today. Um, what, what, it, what it points to, to me though, or is just a symptom of, um, you know, in, in the midst of this uncertainty, um, just highlights to me the importance of something that God's been putting on my heart. And that is the faithfulness of God, how, how reliable he is. In fact, the verse that I want to share from today, we find in Hebrews chapter 13. And it says this, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, from a purely human perspective here on earth, looking at the state of our great nation, um, I think one thing that we can be certain of in many perspectives is the uncertainty of a lot of things going forward. Right, regardless of how the final count comes out in the election, and I mentioned that because it's kind of big news, you know, during this time. Regardless of the, which way it goes, there's going to be a lot of unhappy people, and there's going to be a, a lot of people that don't trust it. I mean, that's that just is, right? Um, I hope we get to the truth. I pray for the truth, uh, whatever that is, right? Because uh, we can accept it if we know that it's the truth. Um, but but regardless of which way it goes there's going to be a lot of unhappy people. And, and that creates uncertainty in our nation. So I think we can be certain of uncertainty in terms of our, our national sort of outlook. But what we also can be certain of is the faithfulness of God, right? The hope that we find in the Lord Jesus Christ. And here in our passage in Hebrews chapter 13, we read that Jesus Christ is the same Yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ is the same regardless of who is ruling in terms of politically in our nation, regardless of what's going on in our city, regardless of what's going on in our states, regardless of what's going on in our culture. Jesus Christ is faithful, and he's for you, and he is on the throne. And that doesn't change no matter what. And it's interesting, um, in light of everything going on, what the next verse says here in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 9 says, Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, for it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace. Isn't that radical? You know, the world could use a lot of grace right now, couldn't it? I mean, it always could. I mean, we're, we desperately, right, as believers, we know the world desperately needs the grace of God. But it's interesting here, after being reminded that Jesus Christ doesn't change, that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever, that we're reminded that it is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace. I want to encourage you to rest today in the grace of God. Enjoy the Lord. God is in control. He is on the throne. You know, our, our joy, our hope, our certainty, even in the midst of uncertainty, our certainty is based on his faithfulness, and that never changes. Jesus was the same 100 years ago, and he'll be the same in 100 years, right? To eternity past and eternity into the future, he's the same, he's faithful, he loves you, and he is for you. And so rest in the grace of God. Enjoy the grace of God today. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in.